I hope you are all well. Thank you so much for all of your wishes and prayers and love and everything. It is so appreciated. Thank you so much for donations that's been given. Um, anything helps, as, as everybody knows, but still, of course, I never expect anything. But um, So my um, get straight to the point. I've done a bit of an upgrade of my um, website. You can you can always go on my website and have a look at what's going on planetarily if you don't want to go on astro.com too, just in case you don't know. Lectures, merchandise, etc. Um, you can buy my book here and read about the book um, that I will be talking about. Um, and if you do want... Um, a horror reading or a question there's this too and then I have my shop my merch shop which has got all different um, PDFs and videos and all different things like that so I just wanted to come on talk about a few different things update Gannon and Letitia, the Letitia Stout case, a little Summer Wells, what's been going on with me. Give a little plug to all the new books that I've been writing over the past so long, a uh, short period of time actually, um, and just to basically say hello and show um, that I'm around and that I appreciate everybody and... Um, yeah, so please let's have a little looky at what's been going on criminally. Okay, so, of course, Letitia Stauk, the monster, piece of shit Stauk, um, had her hearing, whatever it was. I hate looking at her face. Um, we found out some really horrific things that she did to Gannon. Now... I've mentioned it in the in the community section and brought the Ganon videos for what I've got about 20 Ganon videos and I highly recommend having a look through them because there's plenty of astrological evidence to show that the way that she killed him allegedly of course she did allegedly um, was actually the way that she did kill him it was in the chart there was a gun there was a knife and there was some type of blunt object there was discussion um, by myself of course on the charts about um, head wounds and torso and other injuries like that so the charts were absolutely spot on I mean those of you that watched um, everything unfold when it did with the astrology you know we were following her around the place and um, the, uh, the the main line the Saturn line which was what represented her uh, and that's she's the uh, she was the uh, head of the household at that time she, you know Saturn representing the the authority figure um, the Saturn line showed us exactly where she took um, well, where the board was found and where, where Ganon was, was taken and in the cars and everything. And then ultimately when um, he was found in Florida, the line that goes there actually did um, coincide with the second house cusp, which was interesting. But have a look at those videos because it really is quite amazing how it played out. So um, I'm not going to go into it too much. It's just terrible. Um, I'll give you a, a warning on, on what you're even reading. Um, you know, so she shot him. She stabbed him. She, she, uh, it was over, overkill. Um, my feeling on motive is still what I thought at the very start, and that is a revenge type motive on her husband or something along those lines, um, or jealousy or something. So um, there was, we know a lot of this stuff. There was a lot of blood splatter on the bed, his um, blankets and pillow that were in the photos that she took matched 
what he was wrapped up in in a suitcase underneath the bridge in Pensacola, Florida. Um, they found a handgun and, yeah, look, she's going down. She's going down. So I don't want to talk about her too much. Um, enough people have. Uh, she'll get hers. And um, Gannon is in a much better place and he helped everybody. He was, he's around, so he's got such a strong, strong spirit. And uh, poor little boy, this woman's a monster and um, she will get what she deserves. She, she, you know, the, the insanity thing will come in and out of it probably because she's pretty insane but she knew what she was doing. So, yeah, have a look at the Gannon videos if you haven't because it is really pretty spot on. All right, so Summer Wells. Now, I've not done any new charts. Oh, I will backtrack a little bit and say that I have. I was thinking about Gannon and the time frame that we were given and it's a little bit weird because apparently he hopped out of the car at 2.19 but now they're saying he was killed at 2.15 so I'm probably going to have a look at that chart 2.15 um, which I have looked at throughout the charts anyway. I, I think he was killed at 2.39 personally. Um, okay back to summer. What an absolute goddamn mess. Don Wells doesn't shut up. Um, nobody shuts up and um, this is just becoming a shit show as far as I can see um, baking hot car accident you know I'm looking just looking here on what what's what's on here I agree with this personally I think that she uh, died in the car um, or something more sinister has happened that we will it'll like I said at the very start, again, watch the videos back to the beginning. The very beginning always tells us the truth. Um, and there's some real suspicious shit going down with that family. And I don't care to say it. I will say it. It's suspicious as. Um, they're dodgy as shit. And um, if it was a hot car incident, then they've covered up or something. You know, they're, they're there to blame. I'm, I'll apologise if I'm wrong, but I don't believe I am. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to go through more charts for summer because I think that most of the information that was needed and important was told in the first set of charts. I still think they need to go back to the home area and look again. I still think they're going to find something else in the home if they look. There's something about the dogs that they're going to figure out, her puppy. There is, you know, there's a lot of this SA uh, abuse um, that Don Wells has uh, been just saying that he's that he does, um, and yeah, that there's so much to it. So we'll just keep an eye on this one, and I don't want to contribute to all the the rubbish because there's so much. Um, like I said, I like to stick to the beginning of when I do astrology, so the first few charts. Well, all of them, but the first few are always pretty spot on. So that's summer. So I thought I would talk about this book, the whole astrology workbook book. It's a little play on the name of it because it is a workbook book, workbook book book. Um, it is 260 pages or more of tons of astrological information, things to fill in, charts, how to erect a horoscope mathematically from beginning to end. It covers time and space and everything. It is really good if I do say so myself and it is not out of stock so you can order it um so yeah that's one book I'm, I'm pushing I'm pushing my books um on this video so let's have a look at the next one okay this one is a new notebook journal with astrology charts blank charts 
research areas, note areas, data areas, and other um, areas that you can fill in, um, lunar information, um, any important angles or degrees and ruling planets. There's tons of stuff in this in this journal or notebook um, if you are interested in astrological research and just putting all your information into one book. Um, this one is 200 pages, so it's a big one, and only $15.00. So I think this one's a bit of a bargain and it looks lovely, actually. It looks really nice. So that's this new data research notes paperback. It's in a matte black and is just very, very pretty. Okay, this one was the one that I published a while back um, that a few people won a couple of. Um, astrological minds and again it's just a companion notebook uh, but based on true crime astrology so if you're interested in forensics then this is the book that you need the notebook journal that you'd need it has blank charts in it blank pages and areas to put all of your research if you are studying forensic astrology it says it's unavailable, but it's not. You can buy it. I don't know why this says unavailable here, but you can definitely buy it. Oh, and it's $19.99. Okay, this one is 140 worksheets and blank pages for just sleuthers, true crimers, people that want to do research in a journal that they can put all their notes into one area. So if you are a true crime fanatic, a sleuther, somebody that really likes to keep all of your research together into one area, this book is really lovely as well. Um, matte black and just uh, really nice to hold and feel and only $13. So Buying any of these books is really helpful for me, obviously, and helpful for you because they're really cool books. So um, thank you for listening to that little bit.